What's going on, y'all? Roman here with uh, from uh, blah, 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 blah. Roman here from Left Eye Right Eye. Back at you with another Every Days. Uh, today is Tuesday, November twenty third, and I uh, actually started this session creating a little bit of a template for the Every Days um, because I'm trying to just streamline, you know, trying to utilize my time better. And just trying to stay more organized during the session. So um, I think it's more helpful to always have a click track, always have a um, like a record armed MIDI track and a record armed uh, analog input track for my microphone, which is which I'm using right now, my um, AKG. And um, so Anyway, I did that in the beginning, and then what I'm doing here is I came up with a little melody, and I did the I did some bum noises in my with my mouth, just some vocal noises, and uh, also played. Is it the piano already? Oh yeah, I already laid down a, a piano track. That's the red track underneath, and then. Um, uh, these Play are peaceful piano, right? No, Alexa, <laughs> shut up. Um, anyway, then I added the bums to where I wanted, and then I recorded another, uh, like kind of guitar pluck sounds, some contact, adjusted the MIDI a little bit so that I could get it solid, and then committed it to audio. And um, there's some effects on there. Um, duplicated the uh, input track because I w had an idea in my head that I wanted like a melody line. Um, and then I kind of did a little bit of arrangement here, kind of started to see a bit of a song structure. Um, so I um, did that. Um, and then I wanted to work on a kick. Um, this is me just reorganizing everything, I think. So yeah, I wanted to work on a kick drum. So that's the next thing that I did after I got the session a little bit more organized. Um, and I, what I did was like, I had three, I wound up with three noises. This first noise, I wound up using as like the top end so eventually what I wind up doing after um, after like you know doing the adjustments for each for each individual kick um, then I threw a really a, a, a just a, a high pass filter and um, yeah everything was like above like 800 Hertz or something uh, pretty high up for a kick drum and then I created a second noise from drum lab that was more of like a sub kick and I I laid that in and then I did the same thing adjusted each transient and um, lined them all up uh, not exactly on the grid for these two tracks but more like a little bit ahead or behind um, added some compression and then put a low pass filter on this one so that they so that they worked well together and then I rerouted both of these to um, an aux track um, to blend them together and I had a compressor put on the aux track um, this is me just being anal I heard some clicks so I went back through a couple of times and fix this up then I added a sidechain compressor with the solid bus now that I had a kick on the piano track and on I think on all three melodic tracks um, and uh, and then I, I actually found I wanted another sound to add so I, I think I went back and added a third kick noise um, which kind of, and that third kick was exactly, I, I quantized it, um, just four on the floor and, um, 
Yeah, that's it right there. That's the third, the third kick. Um, or no, is that the sub kick? Yeah, no, that's not. I didn't add it in yet. Oh, I added a, I added a key um, kick, where basically I duplicated the kick drum and I used that as this as the key for the side chain compressor, and then this is where I'm adding the third layer. And I made it all, all digital and super on the grid. Um, I quantized it, which I had to Google how to do. <laughs> Google is your friend. I adjusted all the velocities as well, so they were exactly the same. And um, and then that was it. Um, and then I spent an unfortunate amount of time. Um, I actually sp sped it up here. Um, oh, actually, no, this is just finishing up the arrangement. But what's coming up is actually I spent a, 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 a really, uh, I'm very frustrated amount of time. Um, what is it? It's saying right now it's like 11.43 or something I'm looking at. And uh, it's 1.08 now as I record this voiceover for the YouTube channel. And it took me basically like, a, like most of that time um, was spent towards trying to figure out how to fucking bounce the track. It just wasn't working. And so I rerouted it. I rerouted the IO. I deleted all the IO presets and reset everything and nothing was working. And I, I, I was getting super frustrated and I wound up just, I, I actually quit the video. I stopped recording. I shut down the computer and then restarted the computer and then that seemed to fix it. So um, so yeah, I, I got to figure out what's going on. It might be my laptop, uh, now that it's a little older, I'm not sure, but either way I figured it out and that's what you're about to hear. So enjoy the rest of your night. God bless. And I will see you tomorrow. Take care. <laughs>